it's me again, Teacher Miss, and welcome to my channel. Okay, so we are already in module number 5 on how to prepare financial statements. So this is the 5th module of a 9 module part uh, financial plan training. So if you missed the first 4 modules, please go and check the link in the description box so you have to start with module 1 before you, you go to module 5 again this is uh, prepared for the students of Holy Cross for their preparation and helping them to prepare the financial part of their finance uh, business plan but if makasabot mo bisaya you can watch this video and you can learn something from it the the excel file is uh, I will try to put the downloadable link in the link for the download so description box pag hindi na kita bisa bin di ko siya na try um but for those who are students i i could if hindi ko po nalagay i can give the template to your uh, teachers and again the template uh, excel files have passwords so you need to 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 enter pass uh, passwords in order to access the worksheet so again please i would just like to remind you that you are not allowed to to un, uh, you uh, you are not allowed to distribute the excel file po. And thank you very much. Okay, so we will continue with uh, preparation of financial statements. So, so, a little recap. Okay, a little recap. Of course, no, all business students know, know this. Uh, I mean, all business students are supposed to know this. There are five basic financial statements. So we have statement of financial position or what we call the balance sheet. And then we have statement of financial performance or what we call the income statement. And then we have the statement of changes in equity. If you are, if your business is partnership, so this is a statement of changes in partners equity. Or if you're sole proprietorship, that will be statement of changes in owner's equity. And then we have cash flows and notes to financial statements. So all of these are provided in the Excel file template that I will uh, that I, I I will give you okay so let's go okay so we're here so this is the Excel file so we'll, we'll basically the financial plan is about the five financial statements now the first four modules we talk each of it one by one and now we are in the financial statement so a little background about accounting because I like to say this all the time diba? there are ten steps in the accounting cycle the step number uh, Six is the preparation of the financial plan and that is actually the purpose of the entire accounting cycle. Kumbaga, bakit tayo umuundergo ng entire accounting cycle? The ultimate purpose is the preparation of the financial statements. And then after that, we'll prepare the closing entries, post-closing trial balance. Those are uh, post-financial statement steps. Pero ang ultimately, ang kailangan dito is to prepare for the financial statement. Okay? So, in this case, in this template, the kaning mga naka blue, I hope you can see this. Kaning mga naka blue are primary financial statements. Ano yung primary katong upat ang ikalima kay notes, di ba? Okay. So mo ajud ni siya. We'll start yung kanang BS that is balance sheet or the statement of the financial position. So ito all the time you have to check kanigong yell naka orange. Kailangan niyo niyo i-check dapat na balance mo. So every time Nga na mo i change ani nga Excel file, mag change mo diri, mag tang especially kung mag delete mo gross, okay lang nang mag change lang mo diri sa other parts. Okay lang na siya pero kung mag delete mo gross, always check kung balance pa ba ang inyong balance sheet. That is basic. Okay? So, most usually, usually morning ka stress lang sa mga students, no? Pero kung i-follow lang ninyo ang template, you should be okay and this should not be a problem. Okay, so ang i-change lang yun ninyo, ang pwede lang ninyo i-change ani nga sheet is the inventories. Okay, how is this? Ano siya naka-default na computation sa inventories? Ang default computation ani nga inventory is one week siya, uh, meaning one week of cost of sales. So meaning ay na ang expectation is after one week, mabalig ya na one week lang ang inventory turnover. So ingan ana ni siya giset. Basically, in most financial plan nga akong nabuhatan, ingon ana lang man pud ang preparation sa ilahang inventories. No? And um, this is only applicable for businesses nga nagabuhat og products. Now, if you are a service concern, most probably hindi mo na kailangan ng inventories. Ang assumption ana is kung naaman minimum lang supplies lang, so i-remove na na siya kasi ang mga service companies kay wala man na sila cost of sales, right? Meron silang cost of service. Although, if you will use cost of service as it is, pwede lang man na ninyo siya gihapon, dara ibutang. 
Okay, so, of course, for simplicity's sake, ayaw na lang na inyo siyang pulihin. Kasi, mahitabo lang man ang inventories na dako siya pag dilipas-pas ang turnover sa imuhang business. Like, retail business ka, nagabalig yung jute cook store, ana. pero kung ang business niyo is nagabuhat na kag milk tea, nagabuhat ang food, and ana, diba? Usually, you replenish man talaga yung inventory in one week. So, if you, that is your business, no need to worry, ayaw na ni siyang usaba. The, okay? So, para dili mo mas stress. Okay? So, kanilang inyuhang usabon. Kanina ka, formula ni siya sa ako, ah. So, yeah. Kailang, now, kung kunyari, i-change ninyo inyuhang, yan, kung makita ninyo, dara, 52 na siya. Kasi in one year, there are 52 weeks, right? So, kung wengan mo nga, ay, ang amuang inventory dapat kay mag, 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 puli siya every three months. So, himuha ninyo ni siyang, uh, four, divide four, kay 12 sa, Kung every 3 months, so isa-isa ka to, ikaupat siya. So, kaya i-divide 4 na inyo. Kana lang inyo ang pulihan. Diba? Kani nga part, i-divide 4 lang inyo na. Or, kunyari, monthly, so 12. Kana lang siya. Very easy lang. Ayaw mo karatong lang. <laughs> okay? So, dapat, again, you check this all the time. Okay? Meaning, Anna, pag wala na siya amount dera, tanawa na to, ha? Yan. Pareha, Anna, meaning, Anna, dili ka balanse. Okay? Next is the profit and loss statement. Okay. Profit and loss statement is pre-computed na siya. Actually, ang inyong i-change ng daria is income tax. Uh, no, no, no. Wala mo i-change daria actually. <laughs> Wala mo i-change daria. Kasi, this template is partnership man siya. So, the partnership uh, partnership is taxed as corporations man, diba? So, that's 30%. So, pre-computed ni siya and you don't have, dili na na siya dapat ang dugon. So see, there is no such moraganig ah kaning at na tutorial is how to prepare how to prepare profit and loss kung madili mo mag prepare yeah dili mo mag prepare inyo halos yata naawon so unsa ibuhaton niyo dili make sure na kung mag reference reference with niya meaning na amoy malik ang ibuhat sa other parts but if you did correctly as it is from modules one to four this should be alright. Okay, ang kailangan na ninyo bantayan ng in net income should not be negative. I know nga, ang advice din sa inyo ha is, is ka ng, uh, okay lang mag negative. Ang in Pag negative ni siya, i-delete ninyo ang income tax ha. Dapat zero na siya. Kung negative. So, I know nga, ginaingnan po sa inyo mga teachers na dapat okay lang mag negative pero year one lang. Pero ako, if I were to ask, i-positive siya, bahalag gamay lang for year one. As much as possible, i-positive dyan siya. So, kung mag-negative mo, basic, kailangan ninyo i-adjust ang sales. So, there are two things that you can do. You increase your, your volume or your sales price or you decrease your expenses or end your cost. So, ingunanak lang na siya. Increase your sales, decrease your cost. Okay? So, next one is changes in equity. Okay. So, kani siya nga specific template is four partners ang nakabutang ani. Magbuhat po ko template for three partners and five partners and magbuhat po ko o template for sole proprietor. So, in that case, ang inyo lang buhaton is Okay, in that case, ang inyo lang buhaton is pulihan sa taas ang pangalan. So, dili mo dili magpuli ha? Dili, dili, aha? Kay di ba anak ko, pulihan lang yung, ang pwede lang ninyong palitan na cell is katong na orange ka na lang dyan ninyong pwede hilaptan. Actually, if you're good with Excel, you can explore. Pero, pag naagan ni mga parts sa Excel, naghilo, di na dyan kung mutabang bahala mo kamoy balance si Anna. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, yeah. Kani siya. And then, okay, ang imbutang ni Mudria sa beginning balance is the profit uh, sharing ninyo. So, di ba dali sa pre-operational expense, i-compute na to pila ang startup cost. Di ba? Yan. So, di ba, moment niya, ato ang computation sa startup cost. So, kunyari, 200 ni siya. Ang ako, ad yung suggestion is, i-divide para simple na lang go, dili na lang go mo maglisod. I-divide lang ninyo. Kunyari, upat mo ka partner and then, 200,000. So, upat mo ka partner, dapat ang inyong beginning balance will be 50,000. So, ang changes in equity, pulihan ninyo ni siya o 50,000. Each. Yan. So, kanilang ah, so dapat wala na ni siya. Okay. 
So, kana lang niya change. Kani and salary sa managing partner. Okay. Ang sabi ng story ni managing partner, si managing partner dapat isa sa inyo ha. Di ba, na-mention na ako dari ang ano ni mga limitations. Naka-mention man ko dari ang ha. Yan. Beginning balance should be equal to partner share based on the computation of the operating expenses. First partner should be the managing partner. Now, kung may ngon mo nga mamula, may managing partner. So, you have to change this. Pero maglisod na mo. So, I suggest, pagbutang na lang din mo managing partner kasi moment food na siya ang logical. And then, para simple lang, the salary of the managing partner is pro- as, uh, on a specific ratio based on your net income. So, in this case, this is 30%. But you can change this to 40 to 30 and pero i-change food ng computation dali. So, kunyari, i-moonin nyo ni siyang 40%. So, kailangan pulihan po ninyo ni siyang 40%. Yan. And all of, more compute na siya tanan. Okay? And then, kana siya. Okay? Kana lang siya ang inyuhang buhaton. For capital. Change niyo ang pangalan. Change niyo ang salary sa managing partner. And kana. That's it. That's it. Okay. Next is cash flow. So, ang cash flow, wala po mo i-change the RIA. Kana lang. Tanawa lang na ninyo. <laughs> wala mo i-change the RIA. Yes. So, uh, I will wrap it up, ha? So, meaning for balance sheet, again, remember to always check if this is balanced. And then, you can only change your inventories. Pero dapat, tanawin mo ako, kunyari, ang inyong business kay retail mo, dili po pwede nga after one week, mahayin na yun siya, no? Dili po siya logical. No? So, tanawin ninyo. If you have questions, ask me. If ko dili mo sure. Okay, ang PNL, you just need to check kung negative ba siya. And then, changes in equity, you may or may not change this, but you change, most probably, you change in yung beginning balance according sa kung pila ang inyong startup cost. And for cash flows, wala may change. Okay, so that's it. That's very easy. Wala kayo may buhaton for the preparation of the financial statements. Now, let's go to notes. So, ang notes, gidiscuss na nato siya kagani ha. So, ang notes is, we already co- discussed this one in the first uh, four modules. Okay? So, yun lang. Okay, so, I think you have learned something. Again, if you have questions, please comment down below or you can catch me through my Facebook page. Maraming maraming salamat and I see you, I'll see you on the next module.